everyone, and welcome to Shogun Total War 2, where we are playing as the Chosu, or is it Chosu? Uh, the Mori clan has resented the Shogun for 250 years. They agreed to keep their forces out of the Battle of Shekihara and subsequently gave up Osaka Castle without a fight. Their award for neutrality was not uh, preferment instead. They were stripped of their possessions and given Chosu domains hardly a prize. Eventually they rose against the Shogunate and were among those wanting to expel the barbarians at Sword Point. Ishinoshi recruited the Chosai uh, will be high quality. The Chosai armies are well motivated with a good charge bonus. Um, we're gonna go with a short campaign. And we can start now. And I'll put on the timer now. I'll let you watch the introduction. Oh yeah, I forgot to stay. Um, we're um, this is going to be replacing the Civ Six Japanese uh, jingoistic Japanese Let's Play because that isn't doing so well. I'm afraid. But everything is all right now. Um, yeah, so I hope you do enjoy this new Let's Play because it's very, very, very exciting. I love Shogun Total War 2 and hopefully you will love it in the end as well. After the Sengoku Jidai, peace reigned for 200 years. In Kyoto, the Emperor continued as divine head of state. But real power was held by the Tokugawa Shogunate. For two centuries, they ruled with absolute authority. Japan prospered. The people were content. In 1853, American warships changed everything. The Shogun abandoned his people and signed the Treaty of Peace and Amity. The gates to Japan were open. Trade was established, but the agreements favored the Western powers. The economy faltered, and the people suffered. In 1863, the emperor overruled the shogun. An imperial decree ordered the expulsion of all Western powers. No longer would Japan be westernized. The time had come to strike back. Western powers gave the answer. Prepare to run out the guns. On my command, fire! The treacherous Westerners brought death to our people. The Shogun no longer commanded respect or loyalty. Imperial rule had to be restored. 
to strengthen our position, the Emperor made peace with the British. We will study their ways and discover their secrets. Only then can we destroy the Shogun and return honor to Japan. The Emperor must be victorious. Choshu Domain, descended from the once great Mori clan, our family has suffered under the Tokugawa Shogunate for our opposition during the Sengoku Jidai. Now, the very same Shogunate has been manipulated by Western powers. For the good of all Japan, we must ensure that power is restored to the Emperor. Our first priority should be to strengthen ties with domains who share our view. We can expect support from the imperialist domains to the west, but here on the mainland, we will face strong opposition from shogunate loyalists. Imperialist control of Kyoto and Edo is vital if we are to wrest power from the shogunate, and so we should march eastward, crushing all who stand in our way. When full-scale war finally erupts between Imperial and Shogunate forces, the people of Kyushu will be at the vanguard, leading Japan into a bright and glorious future. Long live the Emperor! Okay, so what we are going to be doing is taking over Sio. The Boshin War is a conflict. From, um, from the Yamagusi? something like that, but we are going to be looking to getting more friendly relations with people that are around us. We can get trade of these wow. guys. I will listen to your word. Speak and do not mumble. Honesty and clarity march forwards together in negotiations. Okay, he doesn't want to pay us at all. I do want to get it with these guys, the Tosa. It says that I've got the Tosa in my thing, but oh, it says oh, no, unknown. Okay, after we attack and finish the. Um, Iwakuni, we're going to go and get a uh, trade with the Himoshima. No, no, we're looking at our stuff. Okay, we just got an alliance with them guys, and we got an alliance with them guys. So we may just want to go to war with these guys and then that guy. Okay, so I'm going to be moving this down because I want to get trade with the people to Tosa. What do you wish him? What does he do? Drop anchor. Okay, he can lead our armies to get more zeal. Yes, my lord. It's uh, winter right now. Let's get some more levy infantry, and let's also construct a port. Um, this is fertile soil, so yeah, we do want one of them. I don't know why we have a police station. Police station does repression, but we don't need repression. So let's remove that. What do you mean we can't? Why can't we? Oh, there we go. And then, why don't we also... Yeah, what, we're also going to make a large town. And let's move what this guy to install favour. 
and end turn. And we will attack when the winter is finished. But winter takes more than one turn in this um, this one. Okay, construct. Um, that one creates money, doesn't it? Yeah, cottage factory, please. That's the exact people we wanted to meet. Capture Suo. It's nearly the end of winter. Yeah. So we encountered the Tosa. That is amazing. friendly but we need to upgrade our port before we can do any trade I would like to get to an alliance with them in particular but we will move back to Suwa Okay, let's recruit two more spear levy, but we're going to move this army out. Ready for order. And this is the Up army that's one. going to be attacking these guys. We could in this turn, actually. Attack. Let's do that. My spirit and then suddenly we're not able to. Oh, we're going to lose some troop numbers. Yay! A sarcasm. Even though it said, oh yeah, we can totally, totally get that. Oh wait, no we can't. Now we're going to have some of our people die because our projections were wrong. Yay. For death and defeating okay, continue the siege for the moment. No one leaves. And we're going to move this, these ships upwards and we're going to wait until they attack us. We don't want to have... We don't want to actually siege the castle. I'd rather wait a little bit and siege them out. I offer this. No. I, I don't want it. Now it's spring. Defeating Fevland! There is no higher order! No. I'd rather wait two turns, to be honest. Even though it isn't exciting for a let's play, it's strategic. It's two turns in spring. Consider my offer and see the trade with the taste will be amazing. Okay, and they are attacking us, so we're going to be better off, really. Yep. Let's fight. A man must not live under the same sky as one who's been injured. Uh, his lord or father. Article 51 of the Constitution of the Warrior, Togasa Iwiyasu. Yes, I know some of my uh, Japanese history and knowing how to actually say some of people's names. So, the Mori uh, Taka Chika against Ki Kiwawa Tusemoto.
and I'm going to stop the timer because after this battle it's going to be the end of the let's play. Uh, end of the first part, not the end of the whole entire let's play. That's ridiculous. <laughs> And then in the second part, it will be straight after the battle. So the battle is going to take longer than five minutes or something. As it is possible to call in fire support from a nearby fleet, you can issue a bombardment order with a naval fire support button. On the battle review panel. I'm not told that I'm After I'm clicking on it, simply right click on the area of the battlefield you wish to bombard. Once issued, the command to launch fire support cannot be rescinded. Fire support is a naturally inaccurate business, so friendly units may suffer collateral damage. <laughs> guys doing? No, 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 no. Stop creating a group. There we go. And we're going to move the whole entire group. Today, sir, with the fan. We're going to move all of them. Not on a line like that. Let's pause it for a second. Can we pause? Can we pause, please? Can we pause? Yes, yes, pause. First group. They're attacking us, so we're going to be on the defensive. There you go. Something like that. I'll move and develop them afterwards. I'd rather than be walking. So they're going to be attacking us with their troops. We've got the matchlock catchy at the uh, top. And we've got the Yari catchy in the spear levy over there. And the spear units over there. As they are attacking us, we're not going to try and do anything really. after they start charging at us I'm going to be retreating these units. They are at fire at will, right? Oh, toggle swarms, right? Yes, that's alright. And they will start charging and we will shoot. Hopefully that'll kill a lot. Okay, move back. Charge, move, retreat. Oh 
Oh no, they're getting into the rear. Charge the enemy. Sir, I fear your general is in mortal peril, sir. Skirmish mode, please. Okay, all of their melee troops are now going, dying. And we're going to be moving these out here. Why aren't they actually firing? It's weird. Okay, and we will retreat backwards. Oh no, not the spear units too. Okay, well, you're actually attacking them now. Slow motion, all you can charge into the matchlock catchy. Um, yeah, you can attack them. Actually, no, let's retreat from that. Okay, play again. Charge over here, please. Run. Attack the general. So hopefully that will kill the general unit. Victory is assured, sir. Okay, no longer fire will and just stay there. And then the battle we have won. Decisive victory. And that is the end of this part. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Um, if you do like this, don't forget to comment. Please tell me if you enjoy this. Because that is the whole entire point. Like, I'd rather have that all happening and everything like that. And knowing that people will continue watching the Let's Play. And that I've made the right decision instead of doing Civ 6. Um... And also, um, what else? Oh, um, also, yeah, um, check out the Patreon page because that is, um, there's a lot of different things that you can get, like giveaway stuff. I've made a video before in this channel about all of that, and that is it. Thank you guys, and goodbye.